everybody, it's Stephanie Janicek here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Let's talk about uh, other issues with, with uh, The Last Jedi, continuity, false marketing. Um, basically, uh, you, they slapped Star Wars on a movie that had nothing to do with Star Wars. Um, you know, we were told there was going to be a big reveal, well, about Snoke. Snoke's a nobody. Snoke, um, you know... <clears throat> gets killed like a bitch. I mean, I was so underwhelmed by him and he'd been built up to be this, this Sith Lord kind of guy and I, I, after, I almost started watching, imagining the Emperor you know, laughing his ass off in hell. And this is the person's fault for the continuity and the false marketing. I kind of wonder if there was a uh, another cut of the movie that actually had all the big reveals. Uh, when you look at the look on Mark Hamill's face, uh, coming out of the premiere, he looked like he'd been gut shot. Uh, like I said, blatant false marketing. We were led to believe something was going to happen, and it didn't. And, you know, I'm not disappointed. I'm enraged. Uh, Ray's, Ray nobody? Bullshit. Uh, Luke tries to kill his nephew? That's out of character, and it's bullshit. Um, so let's talk about continuity. Now, everybody remembers uh, Rey's Force vision from the uh, Force Awakens. Here she is on Cloud City uh, running. Here she is at Luke's uh, destroyed Jedi Temple, and she sees R2-D2 and Luke. Um, he's in his Jedi robes. He puts his hand on uh, R2-D2. Uh, it's basically saying R2 has the map. Um, here she is at the academy, rolling, I mean, she's at the academy on the ground in the rain, and somebody saves her from being killed by one of the Knights of Ren, and guess who that is? Look at there, crossbar lightsaber, emo dirtbag uh, Kylo Ren. Yeah, he didn't know who she was. Give me a break. Then she's left on Jakku, not born there, left there, Apparently, this is what we saw. Okay? So you can't deny it. And here's the proof. Here's the ship that left her. All right? So, all right, no continuity there. This was never explained. Um, what the hell? You know, I would think that a guy with a monumental, you know, uh, ego and uh, a director could understand what continuity meant, that there are things that were left open in The Force Awakens that needed to be answered. Apparently, uh, uh, Ryan Johnson had his own agenda, and it wasn't the Star Wars agenda. Um, you know, the fact that the, the false advertising of, Ray's, of Ray, um, you know, from Adam Driver and Brit GQ saying she was a princess in hiding for her own safety, Go look it up. It's on Google. Uh, uh, John Boyega kind of saying the same thing. Um, Daisy Ridley saying your parents were in The Force Awakens. Uh, I'm sorry, but did anybody else see any uh, alcoholic drunks uh, stumbling around attached to Ray in The Force Awakens? Because I sure as hell didn't. And either um, Ren is lying to her, which is a good possibility considering he lied about killing Snoke and who killed Snoke, blamed uh, Ray for it, or they're just forgetting The Force Awakens, which is bullshit. There was no big reveal like, no, I am your father, which is literally the pivotal point in the, start, in the first original trilogy. And I know these guys think that they're making a movie that's as, as, as original and as important as George Lucas's first three movies. Guess what, Ryan Johnson? Guess what, uh, Lucasfilm Writers Group? Guess what, Disney? You're not. What you're doing is you're sodomizing uh, cultural memory, a uh, cultural zeitgeist for your own filthy lucre, your own largesse, and it's a, a sin, it's a crime. I am disgusted by what I saw in The Last Jedi, uh, you know, it's bad enough seeing uh, Han Solo's character raked over the coals, but what you did to Luke is breathtakingly wrong. Um, this is the pivotal hero 
in the first trilogy. He not only becomes a, the person that he didn't realize he was, realizing his identity, he saves his father. And, you know, we were told Darth Vader was supposed to have a presence. Uh, I got no Vader from anybody. I got emo dirtbag trying to be Vader and shamed out of it because he looks stupid. Um, you know, uh, the presence of Han Solo, the ghost. All right, we got the gold dice, the falcon, but in nowhere did I see anything that remotely sounded or it was uh, that, that, that connection to Han at all. Uh, you know, Leia doesn't even say his name. I would have told Carrie, you got to say, you have, you know, did anybody tell her that? No. You know, we, you know, you just lost one of the most important characters of the trilogy, uh, you know, in the other movie. And it's like, you know, I see, uh, you know, the gold dice, Falcon, um, you know, Luke trying to quip, uh, like Han, which uh, I love Mark Hamill, but dude, you're not Harrison Ford, so don't do that anymore. Um, it, the delivery just wasn't the same. Uh, and, it, you know, we were told a lot of things that didn't happen. You know, I, I, I don't like being misled. I feel like I want to sue somebody. You know, you, you promised this overwhelming, overarching story and all these big reveals. There were supposed to be, at one time, four. One about Luke, one about the Force, uh, one about Ray, and one about Ren. And there's nothing about Kylo Ren except he's a bigger asshole than he was in The Force Awakens. And that's hard to believe. And, you know, um, on a side note, before I get back to my point, stop pushing a romance between those two. He grosses me out. All right? No more shirtless Adam Driver. Okay? I can't deal with it. I, I, you know, moobs are not attractive. Okay? Moobs are not attractive. Um, back to what? Four uh, big reveals um, in... Uh, this movie that never happened. Uh, so basically, this is a false marketing campaign. You guys overpromised and underdelivered. When you're trying to sell something, you should underpromise and overdeliver. Okay, that's the thing that George Lucas understood with *The Empire Strikes Back*. No one was expecting the "No, I am your father" line, and heads were spinning after that. Everybody, I mean, no. And I'll tell you something: the theater I went to Friday afternoon. There was no push to get in. There was no line out the door. Um, the only time I heard laughter was a four, four or five hicks sitting way in the back. And no one clapped at the end. All right? No one clapped. It was, there was no energy at all. Okay? When you go to a Star Wars movie, they're supposed to, you're supposed to have a feeling of, of uh, 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 magic and um, energy. And it's like, no, there wasn't any. You guys, like I said, you guys sold us a bill of goods, and I feel dirty. I, I want my money back. I want to sue somebody. I want to, to know why, and I want to know the truth, why you lied to us. I don't like being lied to. No one likes being lied to. And we were manipulated through the whole movie. I had to stop and watch. Um, I had to stop and watch uh, myself from getting caught up into it because I realized... It was, about, it was as manipulative as um, Triumph of the Will. Think about that. Do you want to be associated with that, Ryan Johnson? Um, you know, I, I don't like being manipulated. And there's nothing original about it, nothing new. Uh, you know, here's the deal, and I'm going to leave you with this. If you guys could not make an original story, then you shouldn't have done it. And you shouldn't have brought, or you shouldn't have brought the original cast in just to basically rape them over, you know, over and over again. Uh, Leia's bad mommy. Han is a, is a ne'er-do-well. Uh, Luke is a coward. Um, nothing, nowhere near that where they were at the end of uh, Return of the Jedi. Completely out of character. And I don't know if Carrie said anything. Uh, I don't know if Harrison said anything. Um... But Mark did. I know he did, and he was right. 
and you guys didn't listen to him. If you guys wanted to make something so original, you shouldn't have never had him back. But you only did for one reason. Because you get people like me who love the original trilogy to come back to watch. Alright? And now I feel dirty. I feel manipulated and I feel bad for Harrison Ford, Carrie Fisher, and Mark Hamill. And really bad for George Lucas over what you guys did to his franchise. I mean, if someone said, you know, who died in... in and uh, The Last Jedi, I just say only my hopes and dreams. Uh, hoped that we would figure out who Ray was. We didn't. I'm not buying Ray nobody. That's stupid. Um, I'd hoped that we'd maybe find out who Snoke was or at least where he came from. <laughs> you know, like I've said before, the Emperor's laughing in his little corner of hell like a maniac. Um, you know, we'd hoped that there, that there would be a more... Uh, understandable uh, reveal for Luke, and instead you just turned him into a... I don't know what that was, but it wasn't Luke Skywalker. I would hope there would be other reveals. Um, you know, I just don't get it. I don't, I, don't, I don't get what you people thought you were doing, but it was blatant false advertising, and I feel... I feel abused. I feel wronged. I feel... I want to sue somebody. I want my money back. I want you to explain to us why you lied about what was going to be in the movie. And don't sit there and say, you didn't. And, you t and, I, and I'll bet you $1,000 the actors had no idea what they were going to see on the screen until they saw it at the premiere because a look on Mark Hamill's face looked like he'd been gut shot. Okay? He looked like he'd been gut shot. And I've never felt so bad for anybody in my whole life. Okay? Ever. Um, and I'm really kind of glad now Sadly, that Carrie's no longer with us, because I can't imagine what you'd do to her character if, you, if uh, you know, you sodomized both Han and Luke. You know, I mean, you know, rip her apart too. Bad mommy, right? Okay. I'm going to do a video of her. I keep saying I'm going to do it, of, of Leia, and I'm going to, uh, uh, probably tomorrow. But this is Steph, signing out, still pissed off. Ryan Johnson learned about continuity, uh, you know. Don't lie about what's going to be in the movie and don't mislead. And remember, you underpromise and overdeliver. What you did was you overpromised and underdelivered. This is why people are pissed off. It's another reason why. It's a whole other video why. So this is Steph signing out. See you around the galaxy.